Hi, I wanted to make a really quick video to share with anybody that's interested in how I've been utilizing Padlet for uh, product development. And this is for graphic design. I'm sure the same process would be applicable to any class where we need to check in at phases or we want to see the development uh, or you want to see sort of the, the, the DNA of the idea as it starts to evolve and the process and to allow feedback and input all along the way from not just yourself but also the greater class at large and so um, you know I, I'm gonna show the setup that I did and I want to emphasize that there's no correct tool I do not advocate this as the be all end all tool but I do think it's helpful um, to share these ideas and you can make an informed choice for yourself if you like the way that this particular tool works uh, in regard to your your class content and your workflow so what I've done in the way the iteration that I've done is I've done a columnar layout. Each student has a column for each of the projects. And if you kind of scroll through here, you can see, you know, as you go all the way across all the different columns uh, for the different students. And I'm going to use one as an example here because this one has, um, I think, a really comprehensive execution of this. So we go back to the beginning and the student provides a little bit of their ideas about the initial idea phase, the thumbnail process, we call it in our neck of the woods here. And you can click on it. And the thing I like about this tool is it doesn't also dictate the type of tool they use. So students, some of them will use um, digital software to kind of come up with their thumbnails. Others of them prefer to work with pencil and paper inside of a notebook, and that's what this student elected to do. It also allows us to, when we click on it, to see a full size, which is great. It, it'll use the full resolution image. And so we've got some dialogue that happens very early on in the process and uh, feedback that can be given. Initially, it's a lot of times just myself and the student dialoguing at those uh, first few stages, stages, but some of the other students will sign, sign in and uh, also leave feedback. Now I've also set it up so they can sign in to leave their name attached to the feedback and occasionally I'll do it so that it can be anonymous feedback and you see that that can happen here too. Sometimes they can do both. So there's feedback then about the next research phase looking at the existing packaging for instance, changing the mark or adding to the mark in some way. Uh, you'll see an update here on the existing logo and where we're at as far as coming up with the sort of revised uh, version of it. Kind of click off of this. And all along the way, all along that development route, it enables me to kind of keep in touch. So with this particular project where there's multiple phases to it, we start out with uh, packaging design. We deal then with an outdoor display. Uh, we deal with packet, um, I'm sorry, uh, point of purchase display. You can kind of see all the different stops and I can watch the evolution of this idea and I can offer feedback. It also puts some of the responsibility on the student as far as you know which stages to check in at and where they feel they need their their uh, interaction I suppose with the instructor. And so you can kind of see as we move through this process uh, we get to final packaging in these and then we get to, I'm scrolling rather quickly, I realize, the final uh, billboard and some revisions. And you see that more and more classmates start to chime in as the project gets more and more developed until we get to, uh, I want to say, around here. Yeah, we have some final um, magazine ads that are roughs for a, a spread ad and then for a catalog. And Again, the nice thing about this, all these, we can click, we can kind of see a full-scale version of that. We can provide feedback, we can provide critique all along the way, and it's proved to be a really good tool. It also helps people uh, know where they need to kind of make their stops here. So we have a few students that just did not participate uh, in any of the development processes. That as uh, an educator, I also like, it gives me a very uh, maybe clear picture of who might have some trouble very early on to get in touch with them. And some students just elect to not, you know, stop participating, and I understand and respect that for a variety of reasons. But for those that are having issues, we kind of alerted very early on. Uh, 
and then everybody can see where they need to kind of come and give feedback. I also offered an example um, to students for the thumbnail process. And as you kind of go through, you can see, and it, it's just, it winds up being, in my opinion, uh, a really wonderful tool for being able to track the entire uh, project from its inception through its refinement all the way to sort of the finished, um, the finished product. So I hope that helps you in some way. Again, I don't necessarily advocate uh, one solution to it. This is just one way, and it offers, when the student is done, almost like a binder of the entire process from beginning to end uh, without some of the overhead that's associated maybe with creating a physical binder. Um, and I hope that this helps you with your teaching.